we're on. One, two, three. Um, good evening, everyone. Thank you, as always. You know, the attendance here is pretty good. Um, I always think that um, for the hybrid sessions, and especially at Largo, because the traffic is so horrible, that no one's high. Um, that no one is going to come, but the attendance in this class has been you know, you know, really good. So I'm happy about that. Okay, <clears throat> what we're going to do this evening is do a dress rehearsal um, of the presentations of the semester project. Now, the, the, my only requirement here is that you deliver however you want the first three, roughly the first three paragraphs. As I was saying last time, uh, you can read it, which is absolutely okay. I mean, we're, we're doing this for a conference presentation, and one of the conventions is to read your presentation. Or you can do it, uh, even though we don't have the computer running, we can most certainly um, make it make it appear. Uh, you can also do it with a PowerPoint if you want. Uh, you can also just improvise. If you just want to get up here and Say, well, I think I'm gonna do blah, 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 blah. I hope at least one person will do it like that, just to like free form and talk for eight or nine minutes, whatever. I mean, to see the contrast in delivery style will be very interesting. As I was saying a second ago, the one of the main reasons I wanted to do the dress rehearsal, not only to give everyone a chance to um, you know, stand up and you know, get a feel for their presentation, but um, also, because I want to put it up on Leo and uh, give everyone a little bit of public feedback and I want you to be able to kind of comment on each other's and to see each other's, you know, like one or two times if you want to. Okay, so that's why we're doing the dress rehearsal. Um, about the presentation, remember this is a really simple presentation and as you're preparing, let me sort of, you know, warn you, it, follow the logic of those templates as much as you can, and don't digress. Don't, uh, here, let me sort of let me do a firm warning. Don't do a bunch of general background. Don't tell me the history of the mill. Just leave that out. That's not, this, that's not the kind of paper. If you've already like written a page and a half or two, I mean, not to be mean, just to leave it. Okay, because that's not the presentation. The presentation is, has two parts. And in terms of the writing, it's basically three pages or so, three pages or so, same with the uh, PowerPoint uh, presentation. That's why I'm limiting the PowerPoint presentation to under 10 slides, okay? And you just want to, you know, walk in and present to the class or, you know, or write. Uh, if, it's a, if it's the written presentation, you want to just present what the myth is and how you understand it. Okay, and exactly how you do that is entirely up to you. I've um, uh, explained all semester that I want you to choose like the, uh, the events of the myths, the personality of the myths, the relationships of the myths, according to your interests and needs. There's no right answer, and I don't want anyone to like feel obliged to go look at a bunch of stuffy scholarship about this. I want you to use your inter in, uh, intuition and uh, sense of what it probably means, okay? That's dealing with the myth. The second part has to do with the social uh, or political problem, the same thing. I don't want you to like go back and say in the 17th century, in the 18th century, in the 19th century, you know, whatever, in prehistoric times. Don't do any of that, and once again, not to be me, but if you've already done it, just don't get it off the, the presentation. And what you need to do is do a really focused uh, account of a political or social problem. Defi define the time frame really carefully. I would, if I were doing, well, there's different, some of you, um, there's a big range in this class. Some of you are doing now, and if you're doing now, be really firm about the dates, okay? You know, 2018 to 2019, 2016 to 2018, whatever you want is fine. The same, a couple of you are doing like uh, in the 20s and the 30s, and if you're doing that, the same thing, uh, delimit, that is to say, tell us exactly what years, and there's a lot of reasons for that. The first has to do with the, uh, with the research, because if you don't uh, 
um, define the terms and the parameters of the historical period, that makes the research really hard. It makes it like, you know, it triples the amount of time because you keep having to, you know, if you're doing the 20s, then you've got to go back into the First World War and the turn of the century and then sh shoot it forward into the 30s. And I mean, everyone, I mean, that's just a big waste of time. I mean, uh, if you want to do that, if you're interested in it, that's great, do it, but do it after, you know, afterwards. Do it for fun or do it for another class. It won't help this presentation whatsoever. The same with the place. Let's say you're doing the Roaring Twenties, and no one is, but let me use that as an example. Tell me exactly where, and once you decide where, stick to that. Only research that. Uh, if you want to do like Great Gatsby, Roaring Twenties in New York City, that's great. But if you do, don't do Washington, don't do Miami, don't do Paris, don't do whatever, Rome. Okay, um, so define the temporal and the chronological, that is the same thing, those are the same things, uh, the spatial and the chronological um, boundaries of your paper really carefully. So part one, part two, three pages, three pages or so, uh, three or four <coughs> slides, three or four slides, and it's, it's going to work out to be roughly five minutes and five minutes. Okay, because we're shooting for a 10 minute presentation, roughly. Okay, the tone is the most important part of the whole thing. Um, you need to take a stand. Make sure that you take a stand within the first 10 sentences at the most um, of your presentation. Okay, that's one of the reasons why I want to work on um, the dress rehearsals. So that's number one. Number two, give it a tone. The tone can range from objective and kind of stuffy to you know really assertive and aggressive. However you want to do it from like really careful to really radical. It doesn't make any difference at all to me which way you choose, but make sure you're aware of the tone. I think that's one of the most important things that you'll learn in this presentation. And this is where I think this kind of assignment is really good because in most classes, in academia, and in general, you don't do that. You know, you aim for a sort of stuffy, boring academic tone. And once again, in terms of the correspondence between um, a classroom experience and professional experience, uh, I don't think the academic model is very good because in a professional circumstance, you want to be master of your tone. You know, sometimes you're really careful, you've got a hostile audience, sometimes you really go for it. You've got to be, you know, uh, assertive sometimes. Okay, so make sure you know your own tone. Feel free, and I can't uh, uh, emphasize this enough, to fictionalize. If you want to walk in and say, uh, give like biographical background and tell people you've just arrived from Afghanistan or, you know, you were uh, uh, on Hillary Clinton's transition team, or any transition, uh, that's fine, whatever you want. I mean, keep it reasonable. Don't say you just came from a flying saucer. Other than that, um, Feel free to um, fictionalize. Try to connect with your audience. You know that is the, the proposed audience of world-class specialists. And keep in mind also that um, they know the topic really well. So you don't have to explain again. You don't have to explain anything. You don't have to define anything. They know the definitions. If they're confused about the definitions, they'll just raise their hand and say, I'm not sure I understand, and they'll, you know, they'll, you know, they'll name the word, the word and they'll explain. Okay, that's, uh, that's all, are there like any, but we have a little bit of time at this time, we're about eight minutes or so? Nine. Nine, so I'm good at kind of guessing. Does anyone have any questions for the camera? Uh, not for the camera, but 